Okay, this is my third attempt at, at uh, taping this. Um, I'm on my soapbox. And the reason I'm on my soapbox is because I'm trying to write a proposal for um, a conference and subsequently maybe a proposal for, for advanced learning, PhD actually. But as a creative writer and a creative artist, I get kind of scared because of the academic scholarly jargon that has to be incorporated into these proposals. But, you know, I was like very frustrated. So I'm, I'm looking around on the internet and I found this article in the Chronicle, Bad Writing and Bad Thinking by Rachel Tour, who touches upon my frustration. And uh, she interviewed a couple of students um, and she spoke about teaching and in a, in a graduate class in physical education, I asked them, about questions about writing and stuff. And their main complaint was about writing things that are hard. And um, she asked what's hard. And the journal articles, they say, the journal articles he makes us read are dense and boring. We're getting good information, but it can be painful. And they say we have to learn to write like that. And uh, Rachel Tor says, no, they don't. And the message that she's trying to convey, you have to write the same as others in your field. You must use multisyllabic words, complex phrasing, and sentences that go on for days because that's how you show you're smart. If you're too clear, if your sentences are too simple, your peers won't take you seriously. And of course, that's what she's trying to express, that it should be a language that you can communicate to other people, especially people in the trenches. If you're trying to reach people that uh, how to uh, battle uh, domestic abuse, um, cultural memory, things like that nature, then you should be able to write something or present in a conference something that could relate to other people. Um, when I have related some of my um, presentations on domestic abuse, I do not use very fancy words. I, I just go into the nitty gritty. And after the presentation, people come up to me and say, thanks for sharing that. I go through that. I'm happy that, that you can express that in a, in a language I can understand. So what? So that's what I'm trying to do. I, uh, I'm trying to find a way to, to merge both between creative writing and academic scholarly work. I mean, I have to present a theoretical framework for what I'm trying to do. So I do have to incorporate some of that. But still in all, I'd like to be able to make sense to many instead of to a privileged few. Anyway, that's me and my soapbox. Um, hope I didn't bore you to death. Thanks for listening.